As Jewish people return to their ancient homeland, God is fulfilling His promise to restore Israel. Yet, amidst the technological and economic prosperity in Zion, a dark side is evident, men and women trapped in a downward spiral of destruction. Centuries ago, a prophet of Israel declared, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. God's mandate for the Beit HaYeshua Rehabilitation Program is to reach out to these desperate people with the good news. So this is Israel. This is a part which most tourists and most Israelis even will never see. It's uh, where thousands of people live in poverty, using drugs, alcohol. Here's one of them here. We go out two by two. Teams from the congregation go where the need is greatest. In Israel, that's the area around the Tel Aviv Central bus station. We hand out tracts and flyers to the drug addicts with our contact information for Beit Yeshua. We're leaving you a tract about Yeshua. Read it. 2,000 years ago, the Pharisees accused Yeshua and his disciples of eating and drinking with tax collectors and sinners. Today, one could add drug addicts to that list. Yeshua answered them, those who are well have no need of a physician but those who are sick. It's estimated by government statistics that there are over 20,000 hardcore drug addicts, and that's not including the many thousands of alcoholics which are found in this nation. Here in Tel Aviv, many of the drug addicts gather to uh, shoot up, to buy drugs. And we're here to try to fish some of the guys out and bring them back to the center. This is the uh, air area of prostitutes, you'll notice. Uh -huh. All these things here are, prostit are little pinot of prostitutes, prostitution. Nearby, we find a woman strung out on drugs and offer her contact information for help, but she's not interested. This abandoned structure under a bridge near the Tel Aviv bus station is actually a place where drugs are sold. Addicts come and go. For us, it's like fishing. Sometimes it takes time to get a bite, but with Beta Yeshua, it's a bite for life. That life becomes evident back at Beta Yeshua in Jerusalem. In taking the bite for life, these men at Beta Yeshua enter a one-year program in a communal framework involving study, worship, and work. The Word of God heals wounds, fills emptiness, and renews lives. Beta Yeshua students become part of the Messianic community of believers at Yeshuat Yisrael Congregation in Jerusalem. Uh, this here is Alex, one of our younger students, a drug addict for many years. He'll tell his story here. I came here to Beta Yeshua three months ago. I immigrated to Israel at age nine with my family who was Jewish. We lived in the south of the country where at an early age I got into drugs. I was in jail several times, but after each release I went right back to drugs. Those people that you saw near the Tel Aviv bus station, I was one of them. However, several months ago, a couple of guys from Beit Yeshua rescued me from that hell hole. Thank God. It took some time until I understood who it was that really saved. But then I received Yeshua into my heart and things changed. I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. And now I have hope in my life. My desire is that I continue this walk of faith and pray that my family will be saved too. I want Yeshua's victory in my life. This is Dennis. Uh, Dennis came to, the, to us about five years ago. Before that, he had been a drug addict for many years. He had robbed an apartment and climbed on the roof of the apartment uh, afterwards, and he was stoned on heroin. In the middle of the night, he had to get up to uh, urinate, and he forgot that he was on the roof of a building. He fell five floors. It was a miracle that he lived. He spent a year in rehabilitation. After that, he went right back to drugs. But he came to us, and the Lord has given him a new life. Today, he's a counselor and a teacher at Beit Yeshua. And it's just wonderful to see what God's done in his life. This is Vitali. Uh, Vitali came to us a few months ago from Eilat. He's been an alcoholic most of his life. 
And uh, since coming to us, he's accepted Yeshua as his Messiah. His life has radically changed, and he wants to live for the Lord. It's just amazing to see what God has done in him already. Oleg Velensky is our Beta Yeshua director. He has his own story of deliverance and new life in Messiah Yeshua. I was a leader among the criminal street gangs in Russia and started using drugs to escape reality. I hoped that immigrating to Israel would change my life, but actually here I fell even deeper into drug use, namely methadone, and I just couldn't get out of it. Then I started looking for a meaning to life and got into new age. I went crazy and was committed to an institution. Yet God had mercy on me and delivered me from that mental institution. Later, doctors told me I only had two months to live as I was suffering from advanced tuberculosis and liver cirrhosis. It was then that I went to a congregation and met God. I understood that I was on my way to hell. I turned to Him and ended up in Beta Yeshua. I was healed from all my sicknesses and He cleansed my mind through His Word. Now I'm whole and healthy, and started sharing the gospel with others. Yeshua gave me a new life. I married a Finnish girl and have a three-year-old daughter. This is Mohammed. He just came into the rehabilitation program yesterday. He's been a drug addict for many years, but we believe that God is going to give him a new life through the Messiah, Yeshua. And uh, really, we see that the only hope for a true peace in the Middle East is through the Messiah, only through His love can He bring Jew and Arab together in the bonds of peace. Dozens of men have found deliverance from drug and alcohol abuse, as well as new life at Beit Yeshua. Much of the Yeshuat Yisrael congregation is made up of these graduates of the rehabilitation program. Your prayer and financial support for this ministry in Israel is much appreciated.